I worked with the Forest Service, and I knew Mark was a really good contractor, and I was always having to get contractors to paint buildings, and I, want, I just tried like heck with Mark to, to get him a contract. And uh, it took a couple of years, because when he ever he bid, he wasn't a low bidder or some, something happened. And finally he got a contract to paint a big building at Tiller. <coughs> he, he got into it, and he had to be, you know, had to have a, a fairly expensive bond, and he had to, he had to do this for the government and that for the government and all this. That was just to, just to bid the, the job. And then, after doing all that, he was complaining to me every week. We, we, we did, this time we finally awarded him the contract. Then I had to go over all the specifications we had, and what we what he had to do, and uh, all the details, and all the testing he had to do, and, <laughs> and, uh, and we were pretty friendly. But you know, I said, well, I got to enforce the contract, and you know, so it, it took him a little longer than he thought. And he, he said, no offense to you, but they were going to build, bid on another government contract. <laughs> I think he told me about that one, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I think he did. I said, well, why don't you do some commercial work? I mean, if it rains that much in Roseburg, do some interiors and get some big buildings going. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he said. <laughs> well, um, I just wanted to say something that I look a really important thing I learned from Mark uh, some years back. I was in his yard up on Willis Creek, and he explained to me that, that uh, a barbecue in the South County was a burn barrel with a grate over the top of it. You know, it's things you wouldn't know necessarily unless yeah. you live down there, you know. And so Mark filled me in on that, you know. So they put their garbage down inside, put a grate over it, and then toss the meat on top, you know. So just a tidbit, you know. Valuable good to know, yeah, man. So. Good to know. Oh, that's nasty. I'm going to put this up here. Hey, I've gotten a couple of good ones already, Ryan. You're falling down on the job, dude. What up? Who's the video master anyways? Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna get the bagpipes here in a minute. I know. Huh? Part of your heritage. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta get these bagpipes. Me and your dad always had a contest with our boats. Every time we went to the lake, we always took two boats. I mean, it was always a contest who'd get the boat in the water first. Well, we'd go rushing out to the lake, out at Ben Irving. My stepson, he was eight years old at that time, he's sitting there hanging on to the boats, right? We launched the boats, we go up to the lamp, and Danny goes, hey, Dad, hey, Mark, your boats are sinking. <laughs> we forgot to put the drain plugs in both of the boats. By the time we got down to the water, they were half underwater and sunk. <laughs> Then there was the story of us over in Christmas Valley. We took the four-wheelers over there one time, and we're over there for almost a week or so. And David and I were sitting down at a table. We were uh, imbibing quite a bit at that time, and we had some guns out, and we had them on a table, and we were shooting off into the, some bottles across the way. And it got so bad that, that uh, we, we had imbibed so much that at one point I put the bullets in the gun, in the, the magazine backwards. Oh no. And the gun wouldn't shoot and David and I looked at each other and Mark walked up and says, maybe you guys better leave the guns alone and just fool with the radio there instead of the guns. <laughs> That's why alcohol and guns yeah. don't mix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is Charlie Freeman, yeah. Mark's best friend from high school. <laughs> That's me. So All right, have at it. Here's a story, one story for you. Okay. <laughs> um, Mark shows up at my place, uh, probably sophomore, junior in high school, and it was, real it was around 4th of July. Loud and proud, buddy. And he says, uh, Hey, I got it. I got these firecrackers. Let's go light them off, right? So I'm just, okay. And so we had to pick some kind of neat place to do it. So he decides that we should go to the top of Swallow's Nest Cliff, which is a probably about a 200 foot tall cliff that slopes has an east slope down to the river. Well, so we're up at the top of this thing, and we're lighting these firecrackers off and acting like monkeys and. You know, having a having a good old time, and, and all of a sudden it was it was the it was the most interesting look I've ever seen. Mark reaches down into his bag of firecrackers, and he kind of looks, and he looks at me, and he pulls out a flower, which is basically it's a firework, right? Those ones that spin around and you know, they glow and all that. Right. And he's like, look what I got, right? I'm like, great, let's light it off, right? So we. Uh, so I light it off for him, he throws it, and of course we just go spinning and we're, we're cheering and all that stuff. And we light off a couple more fire, firecrackers and uh, all of a sudden we hear this strange noise. And this was another uh, pretty interesting uh, acrobatic from Mark. He, he leans over the cliff and he looks down and the entire cliff is on fire. Oh, oh no! So, <laughs> So we look at one another and we ran and I mean that the, and we actually just to stay out of trouble right? We swung back by after a couple hours there were fire trucks and quite honestly we we I don't know how we didn't get caught because it, that fire was talked about for months. Oh, oh my down the entire God. Swallows Nest Quest. If you ever go to Clarkston again, it's probably the biggest landmark in Clarkston. Oh Think of Mark when you go. God. It's go time. I just remember Mark being a little bewildered, uh, being drugged to an event by his Scottish wife, Geraldine. Mm -hmm. And um, he says, well, I'm not Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he says, but I'm here. And pretty much every time I saw him was in connection with some of the Scottish doings that uh, Geraldine wanted to, to go to. Um, one of the other things I remember is that uh, there was some communication between he and I while uh, Geraldine was in the hospital uh, with their son Ryan. Ryan? Ryan. Yeah. And because our daughter was in the hospital at the same time uh, for our grandson Alan. And uh, so we have something little common in common there. Story time. Well, we were barbecuing one time, Mark knocked a bowl off the table and broke it, and I asked him, did that feel good? He says, yeah, try it. <laughs> so I knock one off, and it breaks, and we start laughing. We ended up clearing the whole table and knocking everything off and breaking all the dishes. <laughs> and we laughed our ass off the whole time we are cleaning it up. <laughs> we cleared the whole table of food, dishes, everything, right on the ground. Just went... <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Any others? Oh, we were jumping our new trucks at my house one night. Oh boy. Coming up the hill, <laughs> jumping them past the fire pit there. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got I remember that one. one. Yeah. <laughs> and then one time he was out in the field, uh, running his little Ford Ranger around. There's three of us in the cab of it, and they got a berm, and he went sideways over the berm. Airborne the truck, and when he landed, he had the shifter, the transmission in his hand. Mm. Pulled it right out of the cranny. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we were oh, stuck in second gear. Yeah. Okay. One more. <laughs> One more. Let's see, what else do we do? We did lots of fun things. Settling? <laughs> the settling bombs? You come over the settling? The oxygen is settling. <laughs> out of a cutting torch. Blow up a balloon with them. It makes a bomb. Throw it on the campfire. We made one about that big around and 
yeah. blew the fire yeah. out. Yeah. Amber, the little <laughs> ambers, the fire was gone when we got down. <laughs> Mark runs by, throws it in the fire, and boom, that was it. There were little, little ambers all over the field. <laughs> Where's this guy come from? <laughs> <laughs>